What up, LA Live gang? This is your boy AC. And I'm back with another edition of LA Sports Live. You guys see the thumbnail, you see the title. Let's get straight to it. So, the details of the LA Laker and um, Indiana Pacer deal have been released. I believe they have been uh, intentionally leaked by the Lakers. And once again, we have another general manager trying to take advantage of the LA Lakers. I repeat, we have another general manager uh, demanding that the Lakers play a uh, Laker tax on this trade. Um, the details are what the Pacers wanted was THT. Um, they wanted Russell Westbrook, the two first round picks unprotected, and they also wanted the Lakers to take on another back uh, contract in uh, Daniel Thice. I believe he has, after this season, two more seasons remaining on his contract on top of the extra year that Buddy has on his contract, when after that, you know, when when they would be acquiring a forty-seven million dollar expiring contract of Russell Westbrook, free and clear, and uh, who's the genius? Who's the clown? Who's the fool trying to fleece the Lakers? That that clown right there, Mr. B Buchanan. He's a, a general manager for the Indiana Pacers. Oh my God! Look, Rob. Let me tell you something. You look at this clown. There's no way, man. There's no way that you can let a clown look like this fleece you in the deal like that, man. The, the Lakers would be the laughing stock of the league if they would pay that extra high Laker tax on this deal. Uh, the Pacers, look, the Pacers, like my main man Kareem said, Dan, they're, they're not negotiating in good faith. Uh, they believe the Lakers are desperate. They, they believe the Lakers will just take any deal. But let me tell you, I'm here to tell you guys, that's just not going to happen. The Lakers have made it pretty clear quite clear since the beginning of this offseason they will not i repeat they will not be fleeced in any deal especially one involving russell westbrook um you know things didn't work out last season but russ you know russ was russ halfway decent numbers uh pretty similar to his career numbers and uh Russ coming back to the Lakers is not something that I I don't think that was what they really wanted. Not something I would really want it. But one thing for certain, two things for sure. I don't want the Lakers to be used and abused and fleeced by numbskulls like this clown uh, when making deals who think they can take advantage of the Lakers uh, when when they, we were perceived to be down. I don't think so. I'm going to tell you one thing for certain, two things for sure. There's two dates on the Laker calendar I can't wait to see is when we play these clowns. And I hope the Lakers beat the brakes off the Pacers in those two meetings. And look at here, look here, guys. This might not be a popular opinion, but Russ is going to be playing for a contract. We got a new team. We got a new coach. We got a new system, man. We got to be optimistic. And I think the Lakers... No matter what, if they make this move or not, I think we're poised to have a good season. It's a, it's a comeback season. It's a redemption season. And I believe the Lakers will come back on top, and we are not going to let dipshits like this guy use and abuse the Lakers and try to kick us while we're down. You guys tell me what you think about this in the comments below. Should the Lakers bow down and take this BS trade, or should they stand strong? Uh, st stand 10 toes down and uh, hey, just say, hey, we ain't going to go for a deal like this unless it's mutual beneficial. Let me know in the comments below. Anyway, it's your boy, AC, LA Sports Live. I will wrap with y'all later.